Right now, I'm going to show you how to change the color of anything in Photoshop without making any selections. Hey Cafe Crew, Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly change the color of something without making any selections. But then we're going to go beyond that. So here's an image that I made for the cover of Photoshop User Magazine. And by the way, I still write for there. I do the tips column. I've been doing it for going on 14 years now. I guess that's been a minute. All right. So thank you. Uh, Lana Barron was the model for this. Um, so I photographed it, put it together and made this piece. So what we want to do, though, is we want to change the color of her skirt and the writing. Now, could you imagine how difficult it would be to do this if we're making selections? So why don't we just start with the skirt and I'm going to quickly show you the technique. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create an adjustment layer. So in the layers panel, go down and choose the adjustment layers. And under adjustment, we're going to choose hue saturation. Now hue saturation enables to change the color of anything by changing the hue slider. Notice it changes everything. Let me undo that. If I want to isolate it, I just simply choose the picker tool here. And then I go over the area that I want to click on. And then I go over the area I want to select, which is purple. Notice it now changes to magentas and we can see the selection is active. All we need to do now is move the hue slider and we can change the color of the skirt. Now there's another way we can do that is if we just click on here, if we drag the saturation will change. So we don't want to do that. Hold down the control or the command key and we can change the color just by simply dragging on that color. Okay. That's the basic effect of how we can change the color of something inside of Photoshop. Now I'm going to show you a whole lot more that you can do with this. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to isolate our effect to this area at the bottom. So we're just going to grab our marquee tool and we're just going to click and we're just going to drag around here. And now this will isolate the effect to just this part of the image. All right, let's go ahead and change our skirt. We're going to go in, we're going to grab our hue saturation, grab our little selector tool. Let's go over the purple area, holding down control or command on Mac. Now we can just drag to the side to change the color. Let's make this a nice blue. Excellent. So now what happens if we want to select a different color? We can do this without leaving. All we simply do is just click and notice now it's selected yellow. So we've actually chosen a different color. So I'm going to click holding down control or command and now we can change the color of this to something else. See that? So why don't we do something difficult? Let's go in here and try and get it into the blues. Notice blues right at the end. So we're just going to drag it to about there. Okay. There's a lot of murkiness here. How do we fix this? Well, all we need to do is just go under here. We just click and drag to make sure we've got a good solid selection. I'm dragging that one across. And so what we've done now is we've fully selected these areas. And notice now that this area is blue to match the skirt. The hands are as well, but the whole face and everything would be if we hadn't made that selection. But that's okay. This is easy to fix. So one of the great things about using an adjustment layer is that they come with a layer mask. And with a layer mask, if we paint with black, it will hide the contents of that adjustment. If it's white, it will show that adjustment. So let's fix our over selection right now. Just simply click on the layer mask and we can see the layer mask is selected because you can see the little white uh, area around there and also it says up here layer mask by the way eight means it's eight bit channel and this little star means it hasn't been saved yet just a little additional information okay so i'm going to grab a brush so i'm just going to simply hit the b key for brush all right with our brush selected we want to make sure that we are at 100 percent opacity and also i want to make sure that we've got a hard edged brush so on mac if you hit the control option and that would be alt right drag on windows, we can change the size of the brush by dragging side to side, or we can drag up and down to change the hardness. Let's drag down to make it hard and let's go to the left to make the brush smaller. Now, all we need to do is go into these areas and just paint them back. And we just simply go up here and we paint it back. 
And if we really want to get fancy, we could go in here and we could paint our fish and let them go back to their original color. All right, now you can see how easy it is to do this. And yes, the guitar there is my Ibanez gem, which is the same one right here, which I always have in my videos. I know I just kind of put it in there because I was playing it. It doesn't just sit there as an ornament. I actually do play it. So maybe sometime I'll do a video for you guys and me, me jamming. We'll, we'll see what happens. So anyway, I got a question for you. How many of you play a musical instrument? I'm really curious. Let me know in the comments underneath if you play or you've ever played an instrument. Um, I'm actually super curious about that because I know there's a lot of musicians are also photographers or also designers and artists because, you know, art is art. So anyway, guys, if you like Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials, hit the subscribe button right now, become part of the cafe crew. Also hit that little bell notification so you know when I upload a new video, which is every week, which is every Tuesday, and also sometimes I do bonus videos throughout the week. So anyway, guys, if you like this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.